All right, good morning, guys. How is everybody doing? Officially Monday, start of the weekend. It's raining out here in California. Which is really weird because it's hot, you know. Well, not hot right now. It's 70, what? Let's see. 76? Yesterday was hot. Now it's, it's raining. It's weird. But with all the hurricanes going on, out everywhere in Florida and Texas and whatnot, I, the rain does not surprise me at all. But uh, so drive safe, you guys. Pay attention to the road. You know, whenever it rains, I don't know why. <clears throat> you got a lot of stupid people out there driving. But yeah, you guys had a nice, eventful weekend. My son's uh, football game was uh, Saturday. He's opening season in game for his football team, and they won, man. They they did really, really good. 33-21, to 21, which is really good because, you know, that's the first game of the season. They won by, like, two touchdowns, something like that. And uh, it, uh, it's nice to see all the hard work me and the other coach have been putting in. It's paid off. But uh, what did you guys do over the weekend? Uh, I go to work tonight. So I'm going to go home, you know, do a little bit of stuff around my house, and then just crash out basically until my kids get out of school. And I'll probably come back with my wife, pick up my kiddos, and just kind of just take it easy today. <clears throat> Excuse me, take it easy today since I work tonight. Um, I only work two days, which is nice. I only work today and tomorrow. <clears throat> and then, you know, just dance practice and football practice with my kids. And nothing really, nothing really going on. This will be as it right now. You know. Once they start doing their, uh, their sports and all that stuff. It's kind of hard to plan stuff on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays because my daughter's got dance Monday and Thursday, and my son's got football Tuesday and Thursday. So it's always something in Saturdays. He's always got games. <clears throat> and then once she starts her um, dance competitions, there'll be football games and dance. So it's super busy once they start doing all their stuff. You know, it's really busy. But you know, it, it's it's fun. I, I enjoy doing that that kind of stuff. You know, I enjoy going to my my daughter's dance competitions and whatnot. They're all put on through um, Sharp International. It's a huge, uh, you know, really huge um, competition company that puts everything on. They go all the way to Hawaii, Vegas, everywhere, which is nice. You know, gives the kids something to do, stay out of trouble. And it's just a good program. You know, the person who owns it now is really cool she's really laid back funny and um you know everybody gets a chance to dance sorry guys i'm tired i just wanted to record you guys tell you guys hi hello um but yeah it's it's really weird outside though because you got certain certain patches where it's really dark and you got certain patches where it's really you know not dark but it's California for you. One day it'll be nice. One day it'll be raining. One day it'll be really hot. But lately it's been it's been pretty. St oh, it's a bus. I don't know what the heck that noise was. <laughs> what the heck is? Oh, it's a trash can next to me. But yeah, everyone. So I hope you guys have an awesome week. I hope you guys have an amazing start to your guys is Monday and uh, you know just have an all around great day if it's raining where you guys are drive safe you know if you guys are out there in Florida watching this I hope you guys made it through that storm um, you know safe and sound you know my wife's got family back there I was talking to him yesterday and he had told me that the eye of the storm um, decided to veer a different way so they got a little bit of it, but it, they didn't get that bad. You know, he owns a big, huge um, uh, custom diesel shop outside. So if you guys are in Florida, 
make sure you check out uh, SoFlow Diesel. Really, really good shop. They do lifting, custom lift kits, you know, custom exhaust systems, you know, bumpers, light bar, all kinds of stuff. You know, really reputable um, diesel company out there. So if you guys are out there and you guys have a diesel or you guys want some lift work done, check out SoFlow Diesel. Super cool company. But yeah, he had told me, you know, they had boarded all their stuff up. You know, they were, they were getting prepared. They were getting prepared for the worst. And um, it hit them about 11 o'clock their time, 8 o'clock my time. And he said, you know, just it, they lucked out because it, everything just veered a different way. So they kind of, they got hit with a little bit of wind and a little, you know, rain. But nothing compared to what it was supposed to be. So they, they did good. Which is nice, you know. Uh, and, uh, uh, as far as Texas, you know, some people I know, they went out there, like a caravan of people went out there and, um, helped clean up some apartments. They took a bunch of donations down there. And, um, I was looking at pictures that he had took and it's just so sad what happened to all those guys. And, um, because <clears throat> he was saying, you know, a lot of the low income out there is really suffering because you know people that are rich and got money oh you know they'll just they just hire contractors to fix their stuff well when you're in a low income home and or apartment you know they won't jump to and fix anything right away they kind of take their time you know kind of just do what they want you know it, it doesn't really matter to them They're like oh whatever so they were out there helping clean their their places out and you know just helping them out and um it's it's just kind of sad, you know. You see, I guess there was one one uh, single single mom that they helped. That everything they had was destroyed, everything. And you can see that the water line in the apartments where it was completely flooded. You know, like two or three feet up, where there was water, and the apartment was everything was just destroyed. So they, you know they helped them out, and um, you know them clothes and stuff. They had pulled over and set up a little area where they had tons of donations and they were giving, giving clothes out, food, you know, diapers for babies. <clears throat> um, and, and anything and everything. You know, this was all, all donations from people in California around me that had given donations to you know, all these um, all these people that, that were suffering. So, you know, there are, there still are good people out there. But, um, there's a lot of people that are, you know, all about them. You know, it's me, 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 which ain't right. Because, you know, one day, what happens if you get hurt or you need help with something and you don't help them? You know, karma's going to turn around and, and no one's going to want to help you. So, if you have something extra, donate it, you know. I'm not saying money. You know, if you guys have extra clothes you don't wear, say if you're going to throw away or something, donate it to, you know, the hurricane people because they, they lose everything. But, um, so yeah, you guys, you know, it's just, just a short video today. Just something to tell you guys good morning. Try safe. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing Monday. Um, amazing day at work. You know, try and make the best of it. Don't get, you know, don't let the little things in life, um, stress you out like money. You know, a lot of people stress out about money. Um, I used to actually stress out about money a lot, you know, um, but it was because, you know, I wanted to be able to give my kids and family, you know, the things that they want, and, you know, I've come to realize that money is not everything, you know, money, money does not buy happiness, you know, money doesn't um, help solve anything, you know, if you have a, a family that loves you, if you have, you know, a roof over your head, your bills are paid, or even if your bills aren't paid, you know, don't let it stress you out. You know, stress will kill you. And um, that, that's a fact, you know, it'll stress will kill you. And it's not worth it. You know, I've come, you know, uh, to just be happy that, you know, I, I have two beautiful kids, you know, I have a beautiful wife. And it's just kind of just one of those things where you guys don't, don't fret on the little things you know, be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for, um, you know, if you have a job, be thankful you got a job because there's a lot of people out there that don't have a job that, you know, are going to get evicted or, 
you know, don't know where they're going to get their next meal from. You know, if you have, you know, a fridge full of food, a roof over your head, and a job, you know, be thankful. Doesn't matter how much you make, you know, or anything. But, you know, just don't don't let the money part of it, you know, stress you out. Oh, you know, I wish I had money to do this. I wish I had money to do that. And um, there's still a lot of stuff I want to be able to do for my kids that um, I'm, I'm not able to, you know. Um... <laughs> It, it's, it's kind of my choice, you know, I, I, uh, you know, if I wanted to, I can go out there and, you know, work seven days a week, you know, I can go out there and work a bunch of jobs, you know, I make good money where I work, and, you know, I'm able to do stuff with my kids that some people aren't, and I, I, I try not to take that for granted, you know, I try not to rub it in anyone's face, because, you know, that's not right, you know, um, there's a lot of stuff I do with my kids that some people will never do. And I try and explain that to my kids, too. Because, you know, it um, it it comes down to... <clears throat> I don't want my kids to think that um, they're better than anybody. You know, I, 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 I've never thought I'm better than the person sitting next to me. You know, I've never thought I'm better than any, anybody watching this video. You know, that, that that's not me. But um, I'm just thankful that I'm able to do certain stuff, you know, with my kids. And, um, you know, my my family, we have um, Disneyland season passes. So we go to Disneyland a lot. You know, last month we went like six times. And um, I try and tell my kids, hey, you know, there's a lot of people that want to go to Disneyland. There's kids that will never be able to go to Disneyland in their lifetime because it's so expensive. So I tell them, you know, don't. You know, don't um, you know, don't 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 be selfish and rub it in anyone's face. Oh well, I went here and I went there. You know, it's none of no one's business what they do at school because I know there's a lot of kids that are unfortunate enough to not be able to go out and um, you know, do those things. And I tell them, you know, be lucky. Dad does what he does to be able to afford that. To be able to afford to go do those things and you know that's one of the things that you know I did for my family for us to be able to just get in the car go out for a few hours go out there go on some rides have dinner and you know come back home and uh, before that you know we used to go to Disneyland every June for my daughter's birthday because of her dance before she the same dance group that she is in she was a cheerleader for and she did cheerleading competitions and stuff but um you know, she, uh, so her birthday present every year was going to Disneyland in June because she was in the parade. So it was kind of like one of those things, but it was still, it would still cost me like, like, you know, uh, for, it's like almost like 600 bucks, six, 700 bucks, um, to go to Disneyland for both parks because she had a parade in both parks. So, you know, when tickets are, you know, like 140 bucks, you know. For four people, you know, that's a lot. And then, you know, food and everything. So it's kind of one of those things where um, I, I would save a little bit from each paycheck to go. Or, you know, I, what I would end up doing is, you know, every paycheck um, before them buying at least one Disneyland ticket. That way, you know, it wasn't just big, huge chunk up front. Because even, even though I, I'm, I, you know, I make decent money, I still can't afford, you know, six hundred, six, seven hundred bucks just you know, one time to just, blam, you know, drop, you know, that's still a lot for anybody, you know, for anybody, that, that, that's a lot of money, you know, if you got a household, you got a family, you got kids, it's still, it's a lot of money, and, um, that's why me and my wife, when we went in June for her parade this time, I was like, you know what, we're getting Disneyland passes, we're getting Disneyland tickets, we're gonna get the season passes, that way we can go whenever we want. And we have some really good friends of ours who have Disneyland passes. That's actually um, part of my daughter's dance team. So we go with them all the time. You know, we were always at Disneyland with them. <clears throat> and it, it's fun because, you know, it's just something to go out and do and have a good time. But I told, like I told my kids, hey, you know what? Don't, don't expect, <clears throat> excuse me, don't expect them next year. You know, don't expect me to renew them because... There may be a chance that, you know, I may not be able to afford it next year. You know, it's a, it's, a good, it's a little bit of money every month, but 
I always try and make sure, you know, I work overtime or I work a trade day or, you know, I I still own a plumbing company, but it's, it's just, I haven't done that for a while. You know, I always make sure I try and do something that way that I can still afford that payment. And, um, you know, I, I try not to rub anything in anyone's face. I always try and help people out. You know, if someone needs to borrow money, you know, I, I've let people borrow money. Um, moving, using my car, rides to work. You know, I always try and just help someone out. But yeah, you guys, so motivate someone. Let them know you care. Let someone know that they're around. Drive safe. Enjoy your day. I hope you guys have an amazing, great week. Pay it forward.